Hello everybody, I welcome all Zen developers and this is another video of uh, Caribation training. Today we are going to have a look how can we use more than one database in Zen Framework 2. Uh, most of us have already installed and played with the skeleton application which was based on just one database so this video is an extension to the skeleton it's not complicated and I have prepared uh, six uh, code examples uh, four of them the one uh, marked in green are, are from the current version Zen Framework 2.2 and this is what this example uh, will be about uh, this what I uh, uh, for comparison I have two uh, code examples from the previous version 2.1 and uh, we'll see how it works as you know in Zend uh, configuration is king comes first and after you do your configuration homework then you can play with some programming in order to access more than one database in Zen Framework 2 you need to make changes to two configuration files to global.php and to module configuration file which is called module.php um, this is how uh, global.php looks like it defines the database type, database name, and driver. It's important to know that it has the DB key to the array, and Zen Framework knows that DB uh, means that there is a database relevant data in it. In the current version, Zen Framework 2.2, the global.php if you want to have two or more than two more than one database looks like this there is still the db key but it has an subarray adapters in plural and this the adapters subarray has as many adapter arrays as many databases you want in my example two I gave them two identifiers, adapter courses and adapter poll because I have two databases called courses and poll. And this is the first part on the, of the configuration work uh, to make an array in this form in the global.php. Then we have the module .php, which is a configuration fi file on the module level. If you have more than one module, you will have module.php in every module, and you will have more than one module.php, of course. So the module.php has many things, among other are a fa is a factories array, and they defined they defined uh, they help uh, the service manager to access the databases and the only there uh, for our purposes is the only one line of code is relevant here it is the line which is here just below the commentary and uh, the the line which creates the variable db adapter the service manager gets a as, uh, as a parameter, a pass to Zend native uh, adapter. This is how it was before, and it could work even today if you only want one database. But we want to have more, and we will have a change on this line. What change? If we have, if we want. If we want two databases, more than one database, we have to give the uh, service manager as a parameter 
the name of our the identifier of our database in this example adapter poll which we have defined uh, the, the before in a module uh, which we have de defined before in our global.php here is the global.php and here is adapter poll and a reference to it is contained here in module.php right here not a pass to the Zend native adapter but the identifier of one or of one of many databases that we want to use and that's it about the configuration there is no magic behind it these two changes will be enough to configure your Zend framework starting from Zend framework 2.2 version to access to databases now the interesting part the controller decoding the, the uh, our controller script here looks like this Al already uh, in this simple uh, index action script it doesn't have to be index action it can be any action in your controller you already have ac access to the two different databases in this situation how one to I have two databases poll and courses I uh, I get this data f through the first through the method get poll table or get courses table and both of these methods are within my poll control m controller code cont within my controller class they are method of my controller class and this is an example here the function get poll table this is how it looks like it references it says uh, identify this service manager gets an identifier here in the red color poll model poll table this is the identifier that we have seen already we have seen it in our module configuration for poll poll model uh, poll table uh, in our module.php configuration file so we pass this identifier to the service manager and this is how service manager will find the database we want to reference the second function I did not have space so uh, it looks almost exactly this get courses table looks almost exactly as get poll table but will all have a, of course a pass to the model to the courses model and not to the poll model we do this is will be the only change the red one the pass to the mo to, to your model and uh, what which is f fetch all fetch all uh, is the very a very popular method which is uh, contained always in your model code it does not have to be fetch all you write the uh, methods in the model in your model code so it can be fetch one fetch anything uh, it can select some records return one record or all records this is a user defined you defined what you what records do you want to have retrieved and fetch all as I said is only used I have used it only as an example again fetch all or method is in your model code so in this way our view model receives from the index action from the action script data from two different databases and this was the purpose of our short presentation for today and we could finish actually today 
but I want to show you something a little a little half step more again staying within the controller that we can process the data we received from one database and to give uh, uh, our view model the already the data that is already combined from two databases how d how can we do it here i retrieved in the variable course titles i get some data from my courses table again the i have already explained uh, where where the method get courses table it and where the method fetch title is in this example you will look for the method get courses table in the controller and you will look for the method fetch titles in your model code and anyway this method will select some data from uh, from the database courses and will s will save it either as an array or as an object in the variable course titles then i take this variable course titles and i pass it as a parameter to a fetch poll function which is a user defined function by myself in my poll mod uh, uh, model code but this my which belongs to uh, which belongs to the poll database but receives as a parameter some data some identifier or anything uh, from the another database courses so it can be used for example for subselects or for mixing the data combining data of both databases so this method will already re return m the method fetch poll in my model will already return data combined data from two databases so i pass to my view model an an array which which is called polls but it has combined data already and the view model will, ha will have it easier to process the data uh, which is uh, simplified for, for, a, for a more simple loop and if you do it this way like in this example your model will be less complicated will have less ifs and less loops and that's it for today thank you very much for your attention it was great to show this simple example and you are always welcome to check IT training caribation.com and we frequently answer questions if you have some thank you and talk to you again on the next video bye bye